episode of Alex's Toy Show with, with Feisty Pants. Oh yeah. What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Hot Stove with my pal Alex. This is me. This is this. This is you. Um, it's Hot Stove number 17. Um, you know, back at the Hall of Fame talking and, uh, you know, everybody's like, you know, does this guy get in? Does that guy get in? Here's, here's, here's a perfect example of why certain people shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame. Mets pitcher Henry Mejia receives a lifetime ban, lifetime ban from baseball. Not the Hall of Fame, from baseball. It means pff, you're out. For his third failed PED test. He failed on July 28th. He tested positive for Stanzawal, maybe, and was uh, he was at the time serving a full season suspension, 162 game suspension. And they're like, "I'm done with this guy. I'm tired of you guys that that do the steroids. I think you know you need an edge on the game. Play the game like everybody else does." Secret out. Uh, all right, so this week we have a couple more uh, signings and trades, and um, then we're going to get into a little bit of news, and then next week we're going to take a look at spring trading coverage. Uh, I swear, I swear, I, I'm dying to get to it. I, there's just too many more people that are out there still, and I'm like, jeez. The Diamondbacks signed right-handed pitcher Tyler Clippard to a two-year, $12.25 million contract. Finally. That's a lot of money for Tyler Clipper. But hey, I mean, you know, if he, if you can pitch and you're making the money, take the money. Toronto Blue Jays, they, uh, you know, Josh Donaldson, MVP, they're like, show me the money. And finally they did. Two years, $29 million to avoid arbitration. Uh, the Tigers agreed uh, on a contract with uh, J.D. Martinez, two years, $18.5 million to avoid arbitration. The dime, Back to the Diamondbacks, I'm sorry, they're not done. <laughs> They side outfielder AJ Pollock to a one year deal, 10, 10.25 million to avoid arbitration. Uh, arbitration hearings are going on through the 28th, I believe, the 21st. Crap, I threw out all my notes. Oh well. <laughs> um, couple of key, key, key points here. Uh, Josh Donaldson, he's the first member of the Blue Jays to win the MVP since George Bell back in 1987. I think you I think it's time to show him the money. Um JD Martinez hit a career high 38 home runs in two, 2015 and Pollock hit 315 with 20 home runs and 39 stolen bases last year. I think uh, I think everybody deserves a little bit of money there. Seattle Mariners signed right-handed pitcher J Joel Peralta to a minor league deal with uh invite to spring training. Very nice. Uh the White Sox signed right-handed pitcher Matt Latos. Latos was he had a rough year last year. He was 4 and 10. With uh, Miami, the Dodgers, and the Angels all in 2015. He moved around a lot. You know, when you move around that much, it's hard to just get something down. You know, I think he'll be much better with the White Sox this year. I, you know, this, provided they don't trade him to four teams. Um, I think he'll have a nice comeback year. Um, Houston Astros win an arbitration case over catcher Jason Castro. And he'll make $5 million in 2016. He was seeking 5.25. Not a huge difference. The Mets signed outfielder Roger Bernardina to a minor league contract with invite to spring training. Very nice. The Yankees agreed on a one-year deal with Aroldis Chapman. Uh, one year, $11.325 million to avoid arbitration. Trade for this big hunk of change, and then you gotta pay this big hunk of change. Oakland A's. Oakland A's! Who keeps saying that I don't say anything about the A's? It's because they don't do anything. They finally did something. They traded, um, they got outfielder Chris Davis from Milwaukee for catcher Jacob Nottingham and right-handed pitcher Bubba Derby. Uh, Davis was um, in 121 games last year with Milwaukee. He hit 27 home runs. Nice. The uh, Cleveland Indians signed right-handed pitcher Tommy Hunter to a one-year deal. He was 4-2 and two last year with a 4.18 ERA in 58 appearances for the Baltimore Orioles and the Chicago Cubs. Uh, speaking of Baltimore, they invited 17 non-roster players, including right-handed pitcher Hunter Harvey, who's number 85 on uh, MLB's top 100 prospects. Right-handed pitcher Pedro Bieto, 
infielders Paul Janish and Steve Tollison and outfielder LJ Hose all to spring training. Non-roster players, come see what you can do. So they're inviting all these players. They're going to see who can actually play, you know, maybe make some minor league deals out of people. It'll be nice. I, I, I love hearing about non-roster players being invited to spring training. It's It's cool. The Cleveland Indians signed right-handed pitcher Craig Stabman to a minor league deal with invite to spring training. The San Francisco Giants agreed a contract with first baseman Brandon Belt on a one-year $6.2 million contract to avoid arbitration. And the Rangers agreed with Mitch Moreland, first baseman Mitch Moreland, on a one-year $5.7 million contract to avoid arbitration. The Phillies acquired infielder Taylor Featherson from the Angels for a player to be named later, or Cash. Hey, Cash, right? Uh, and they designated left-handed pitcher Bobby Laframbrose for assignment. Dodgers, the Dodgers, signed infielder Brandon Hicks to a minor league contract with the invite to spring training. The Angels signed right-handed pitcher Javi Guerra to a minor league contract with the invite to spring training. And the Braves... A lot of a lot of minor league contracts all over the place now. This is what everybody's getting this this late in the in the off season. Braves signed uh, right handed pitcher Carlos Torres to a minor league contract with invite to spring training. The Pittsburgh Pirates signed two left handed pitchers Corey Lubke and Eric O'Flaherty to minor league contracts, both with invites to spring training. And to wrap it up, the San Diego Padres named former major league pitcher Hideo Nomo. They named him. Advisor to Baseball Operations for their club. Very, very nice. All right, so next week, I swear, we're getting into spring training because Thursday, this Thursday, the 18th. Is it Thursday? Let me check my calendar. Thursday, the 18th. Pitchers and catchers finally report to spring training. It's going to be great. Uh, everybody else reports on the 23rd and then the first spring training game, February 28th. Opening day, April 3rd and 4th. All right, I'll leave you some comments so we have something to talk about. And subscribe for more. Peace.